And as the election draws near, two top federal officials are expressing their concerns over the possible post-election civil unrest. Capitol correspondent Tim Skubik is here for you with those concerns and what efforts are underway to prevent them. To be sure, nobody is predicting a repeat of what happened on January 6th after the last presidential election. And nobody has predicted that any civil disobedience might be expanded to include the country's transportation system of trains, airlines, traffic on the waterways, and cyber hackers getting into various systems. The U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg on the campaign trail is prevented by law to discuss what he is doing at the agency to protect in case there are problems. But he, along with others, are focused on the what if in this story. Do you think there'll be anarchy if, uh, if uh, you folks win and he loses? In every election, there's a responsibility to accept the outcome of the election. I've lost elections. It's no fun. Uh, but uh, when you lose an election, one of those basic things in democracy is you admit it, pick yourself up and move on. But I am concerned about the fact that he did not accept a peaceful transfer of power last time and has not committed to doing that this time either. The Secretary's Department has drafted this strategic plan for, quote, critical infrastructure owners, providing federal technical assistance, improving the information sharing with all parties, and guidelines on how to cope with any internal or external threats to the system. Meanwhile, Michigan Junior Senator Gary Peters, who chairs the Homeland Security Committee in the Senate, says he's concerned as well. He was asked, could January 6th repeat itself? Well, I would hope not. I, I would hope not. Certainly we're prepared. Uh, I've been as a I'm chair of Homeland Security Committee in the United States Senate. Uh, we're making sure that uh, folks are prepared to deal with that situation should it occur. Obviously, the plans are not made public on what the federal government is prepared to do to keep the peace if the peace needs to be kept. Here for you in Lansing, Tim Skubik, 6 News.